Look at this place, it's beautiful. We live right here on 30 acres. We're ranching another five to 600 acres a little bit further up the road, and we're on the river. Well, we've been here since 1949. It is our home. I'd, I'd hate to see a big steel wall snaking through here. We support the wall, but we just don't support the wall here. But this is where we live, and we should be proud of that. I'm proud of it. You know, when it comes to Eagle Pass, when it comes to Piedras Negras, when it comes to Coahuila, when it comes to Texas, it's about us. As the campaign progressed, you know, Trump would fire people up. Who's going to build the wall? We are. Who's going to pay for it? Mexico. Well, that's contrary to the nature of how we live down here. God bless Mexico and God bless the United States. Yeah. It completely tosses us aside and says, it doesn't matter what you think, the great white father is going to take care of you. And to me, that's patronizing, it's insulting. You'd be hard pressed to build a wall on some of these properties where the landowners are a lot more influential, they're a lot wealthier. But the federal government may come in, may try and take it. This isn't for people, it's for in case we see some hogs. I think they start trying to buy property via the eminent domain statute. And then I could imagine them if a landowner was recalcitrant, even condemning property. Because they've got, look, candy, toothpaste. So most of it is children's clothes. Look, children's clothes. Look at this. Why are we doing this? Just people trying to get across. The only thing they did wrong was this. You know, what barbarians at the gate do we have? This picture is a picture of a backpacker carrying the marijuana. Several years ago, we were having illegals come across in bunches up to 100 and more in a bunch. There was a lot of those guides beat them, rape the girls, um, take advantage of them. It's a, it's, a, it's a sad situation. We cannot have a open border, but we're uh, less than a quarter mile from the river and uh, we have floods here. So if you put a fence or a wall between here and the river, it's going to get washed away. The, the Border Patrol has a bunch of these, and each tower has two cameras. I'm completely electronic ignorant, but, well, the government has drones that they could uh, patrol. It would be a lot cheaper than hiring all these extra Border Patrol. We don't know what the government's going to do. We don't want to give up our land, that's, that's for sure. But we don't have the resources to go hire a lawyer to fight eminent domain. You know, what can we do about it? And you know, at the end of the day, the federal government could break me by trying to come here and take my property. And I mean, I'm fortunate if I had to hire somebody to defend me to do this, I can do that. A lot of people are not so fortunate. It may be that that's what it's going to take, is that they got to break me in half to do it. But uh, I'm not going to go quietly into that good night.